Well, hello there, uh, good morning to you all. So, this will now be my review for Bridge 569 uh, entitled The White Ace. And basically, this was a very, a very um, good chapter for me, and it kind of um, confirms, in a way, um, what I did say on the last uh, video that, uh, in a way, Diakia and Rukia kind of. Up in a way, and but eventually Rukia was the apparently was the one that finished off um, as not at the end of the chapter. So well, the first part of the chapter basically we have the entrance of uh, Biakuya, and basically um, he kind of supposedly um, um, he kind of fell prey to the powers of Asnod uh, and at the same time he was kind of encouraging Rukia and uh, he did say that he acknowledges uh, her strength, her, her power and so on uh, but at the same time uh, we have another uh, let's say long uh, speech between Asnod and Biakuya and basically as not this kind of that because he kind of thinks that he understood or since he did have uh, the the simbonza the the bangai of the apia he kind of think that he kind of understand uh, the power of the apia and he goes assuming as not that uh, what the power that Biakuya is using is is on Bankai, but eventually Biakuya kind of tells that the power that he is being using so at this point is only his Shikai, uh, Senbon Zakura, and at the same time he kind of thinks um, as not because he, because of losing his power he was kind of apparently able to reconnect himself with his Zempakto and with his power and apparently in the words of Yapia that was a situation that he in a way kind of forgot along the way <coughs> uh, sorry but then at the same time he kind of speak with <coughs> as not, as not, as not kind of transform, <coughs> kind of transform, <coughs> kind of transformed, and Yakuya uh, spe <coughs> speaking with Rukia, uh, he kind of <coughs> um, encourage her and say to as not that he was not the one that will finish as not off but it will be Rukia <coughs> and after another weird transformation and a lot of um, pre pa panels uh, from the part of as not uh, Rukia kind of activates his Bankai uh, and kind of apparently she kind of blows uh, as not away, uh, like a nuke of ice, in a way. Uh, so that <coughs> was interesting, and we are all expecting uh, that uh, Rukia become a lot of stronger, and probably did have a hit uh, Bankai, and um, I'm happy that. Uh, um, kind of I hope that maybe this could be the end of the fighting but I do hope that uh, if so uh, finally Kubo did not throw um, Rukia too much and eventually also show us um, her 
different guy so if that's the case um, and if this battle is wrapped up at this point um, I will be quite pleased by that um, even if Rukia um, does not fight another strong Stern Ritter in the future or she could fight another Stern Ritter but uh, the fact that if this is indeed the end of Asnod by the ends and by the powers of Rukia and I will be quite pleased by that because I I'm a, a huge a huge fan of Rukia through all the series and I always was kind of depressed by the way that apparently Kubu treated her as a character in the story and yes it's true that she, all the most of the fights they were uh, uh, lost or loses but she was always through all the series uh, a element of uh, balance to Ishigo himself so as their her battle powers I was always baffled, baffled how uh, kind of Kubo kind of mistreated her so that was quite a bother but I think that in this chapter he kind of did show us uh, the result of the full uh, or at least the great part of the training that she did in the royal palaces uh, she becomes a lot more stronger than she was before uh, even Biakia uh, uh, knowledge is that so it kind of it's confir confirms the situation but at the same time we have another point that is the power of Byakuya and if he was able to inflict so much damage because he did it on as not without even using his new Bankai form and um, the level of power of Byakuya clearly apparently surpassed uh, the training of uh, Renji and Rukia but that obviously makes sense because Byakuya was already an uh, excellent fighter uh, and uh, uh, Shinigami that owned uh, his skill since he was young is uh, a battle hardened guy so it makes a lot more sense and he is a lot more older than Renji and Rukia so it kind of makes a sense that uh, after he goes to the royal palace and train also in the royal palaces he will become even more stronger uh, i don't think that he could match uh, the power of uh, ishigo i don't honestly think first she is the main character second um his dual heritage as a queen the shinigami and all and such um, puts Ishigo in a completely different level but I will not have um, at this point in affirming that probably Byakuya at this point most likely is the most uh, powerful Shinigami in, in the field uh, yes we did not see Yukitaki fight we don't, did not see Kyoraku fight we also did not see Kimpashi uh, fight and if he was able to connect with his Zenpakuto and such um, but f in the uh, uh, regarding the Shinigamis that were on the battle camp on, in the battlefield or are, are still fighting probably at this point Yakuya is the most powerful of them all and I would could risk to say that after his training in the royal palaces probably he, he is one of the most powerful Shinigami that there is so that will that uh, will be interesting to see uh, what fight Byakuya will have in the future because if he if he only used his Shikai power uh, to inflict a lot of damage in, into Asnot and if Asna is dead, um, I assume that uh, Byakuya will have to fight another Stern Reader. Probably a powerful one. I think that uh, from the top Stern Readers, there are still 
I think it's turn readers see that we do not know so far. So I will guess that probably this guy, the stern reader uh, uh, with letter C, probably could be the guy that eventually will have the great battle with Yapia and where Kubo will show us uh, the new Bankai form of Yapia. But this is a wild guess and probably this only will happen in the very 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 long future but nonetheless this was a very uh, interesting chapter i liked a lot of the chapter i hope that as not is killed or if he is not killed i hope that in the next chapter we kind of see his last words or something like that or if he eventually tries to counterattack he, i hope that rukia indeed finishes him for good or if this is it and he is dead or he was killed at the end of this chapter uh, I hope that Rukia go on uh, to fight another one or eventually met, meet up with Ishigo because probably is about time I will say two three four chapters eventually that we will see probably Ishigo arriving at uh, Soul Society. Mm, I risk that uh, prediction. It could be completely wrong, but I risk that. But even if we do see Ishigo arriving at the, the, um, the, the Vandente, um, I don't know that. I don't. I doubt that he will be fighting. Uh, right away um, eventually if he is going to fight probably he could met Uryu that will be interesting but at the same time I also wanted to see uh, in the next chapters um, what's going on with for instance uh, Kenpachi uh, did he was able to connect himself with his impact too did he learn something not uh, or to see what the Shibas are up to or where is the Arankar army that Urahara um, assembled in uh, Wikumundo um, or uh, eventually we could see if Asnot is in the in fact dead we could see some reaction on the part of Jua or Ashwald or some other stern reader uh, regarding his demise uh, and learn a little more about the stern readers and their past and something like that maybe uh, but that's it so this is my review for Bleach 569 hope you enjoy stay well peace and see you soon